We're taking a break from our camper van and we're currently in Airbnb in Torquay. These are not our normal sausages. All right, Chutney. This looks yummy. Not too bad, considering it's all done in one cheap little frying pan. <laughs> Our little Airbnb is tucked right at the back of this property. Time for our first look at Torquay, I think. We're on our way down to an abbey. Don't know anything about it though. There are guest houses and hotels everywhere you look here. The Riviera Centre. Wonder what that is. Looks like an indoor type of leisure centre. Yeah. With all sorts going on, I expect. Do you like your Airbnb? Well, that's lovely. This one is really cosy, just right for two people. Lovely big bed. Yeah. <laughs> Huge bed. Yeah. yeah, much bigger than our one at home. Yeah. Um, it's got everything you need. It's got a little dishwasher. This is Tor Abbey, and it's got a rich history dating back to 1196. Apparently, it's one of the best preserved medieval monasteries in Devon and Cornwall. It's known for its formal gardens and also a large collection of artwork. The abbey was closed by King Henry VIII in 1539, and that led to its ruin. This building is known as the Spanish Barn. It was built around 1200 to hold the taxes paid to the abbey. Of course, back then, taxes would be goods such as hay or food. Prisoners from the Spanish Armada were held here in 1588. No prisoners today though, just people enjoying the golf course. We were not really in the mood to go inside the abbey, so sadly we can't tell you what it's like. So we just had a walk around the gardens. Your horse will be along soon, madam. Okay, I'll just wait here then. Yeah. Not really sure what this was all about. Might be a bit cold and windy, but we're here just at the right time for the blossom. Torquay was once a sleepy fishing village, but it became a bustling seaside resort during the Victorian period. The wind is shaking the camera lens today. There's a cafe over there, so time for a cup of tea, I think. Ah, lovely job. Thank you, Charlie. You can be warm enough here. It's about the wind. It's fine. Yeah, it is. Well, we're going to sit here for a while, enjoy our tea and coffee, and people watch. Until we get too cold, that is. I bet this beach is packed in the summer. Lovely day for sailing. <laughs> Maybe not so good if you're in a speedboat. I thought this guy was going to be tipped over by the waves. Looks like he might have had enough of that. At the eastern end of the bay is this natural stone arch, which is known as London Bridge, maybe because the bridge was built out of the same material. Well, it's been pretty cold today, so we had a walk back through the park up to the Airbnb where we spent the rest of the day just chilling and doing a bit of editing. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.